we're doing just a little bit of shopping. Today's video, I'm going to be making an ugly Christmas sweater. So, and it's black. Actually, I think that's what I'll go with. Your watering can? Yeah. That's cool. And I never got to do the Christmas sweater because as you can see, it is really dark in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and put that in tomorrow's vlog and just do it then. All right, everyone, so for this DIY, we've got the sweater that we bought in yesterday's vlog. And this um, was originally $2.98, but it's a blue tag and blue and tan were on sale half price yesterday. So um, this was only $1.50, which they do a thing at this thrift store because it's for the Habitat for Humanity. So you can like round up the, to the nearest dollar and they'll donate that money to Habitat. So yeah, so I paid a dollar, it was, two dollars after that donation and then we went to the dollar tree i found these and this is the the brand but yeah they had some without the glitter and then with the glitter but i think for an ugly christmas sweater you really want to do as glittery and gaudy as possible um i wanted to buy they had light little light necklaces with like tiny little itty bitty lights and i wanted to do that because i was going to do like a christmas tree shape with these and then like put the lights on it but all they had was like big lights like actual like outdoor bulbs like the old school ones and so i was like nah i'm not gonna do that but yeah so a dollar for these and then um two dollars for that so three dollars all together and then i'm going to use my daughter's crown to draw the um, pattern on here because I'm going to sew these on. We're not going to use hot glue. Um, if you wanted to use hot glue, you probably could. I'm not sure how well it will stay on. So I'm going to sew mine because that way it should be able to be dry cleaned still and um, they, they, they won't fall off. But I'm not sure if you hot glue them that they'll stay on. And since I want to be able to use this again, definitely going to um, sew them on. So altogether, $3 is the cost of this sweater, um, plus the cost of the thread, and that's just like a dollar, so I'll probably use a fraction of a dollar. <laughs> um, but yeah, so a ugly Christmas sweater, let's see, at Walmart, that's the last place I've seen them. Um, they're like 10 to $15, I think. Um, so yeah, we are really saving money making our own, and we'll be able to have exactly the um, shape we want, the design we want. And I'm going to do a bat design if I can get it to fit on here. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is with this, I tested it um, up under here. You can see this little white line right there under the tag. Um, but yeah, so the crown will write on it. So I'm just gonna try and draw a bat shape. A bat shape? Yep. Yeah. I can do it too. Which I haven't decided. Do I wanna I do like do a really too. big one and then just like so the outline of a bat? Or should I like do a smaller one and like actually fill it in? I'm Maybe I'll lay it out first to see what looks best. it's a bat. Um, anyway, so I've got some black thread because it's a black sweater. I've got my needles here, the scissors for the thread, and then our pom-poms. And my pom-poms. Um, and that should be plenty to go around. And, um, there might be extra, so I might go ahead and um, like sew some around the collar. Just like little dots. Ooh. Pom-pom! Let's 
stop getting them everywhere. It's making it really hard for me to finish this. Look at all of my pom poms. They're so cute. And beautiful. <laughs> So far, this is like one thread. I kind of want to break it up just in case one of the threads comes undone. That way we won't lose too many, but that's about, I don't know, what would you say? Almost a third of it's done. Anyways, we're half done with this fat, but... Um, I started to lay them out and we just, there's simply not enough to finish the pattern the same as the other side. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to go buy another package, which I needed to go buy a new Sharpie anyways. So yeah, we'll just have to do both at the same place. All right, so today we are finally gonna go, it's the next day, sorry, I should just say that. It's, it's the next day, we're gonna go finally get some more pom-poms and I have to get a marker for a project that I'm working on and then we're going to come home and the vlog is going to pick up pretty much just in between me working on the sweater. So the rest of the sweater will be in this vlog, <coughs> but everything else from today will end up going in tomorrow's vlog. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll get this sweater finished. There's not that much left to do, I just need the extra pom-poms. So let's go! Finished. Um, I just, I don't know, I kind of, let's see, I kind of think maybe it could look cute if it had eyes. Mm. No, I don't like that. I think it looks good just like this. today's vlog and we're gonna like pick up for tomorrow's vlog right here as soon as I take the sweater off um, but yeah it turned out pretty good everything seems real sturdy um, but yeah so if you do this DIY definitely make sure that you get the sweater dry cleaned afterwards I think I said that in a, earlier in the video but I just wanted to reiterate that you should probably get it dry clean because the balls could fall apart in the washing machine so don't um, yeah, don't, don't wash it in the washer, um, or you can hand wash it. Those are your two options, dry cleaner and hand washing. Hand washing might even be better if the sweater is washable. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to my channel. I make new videos every Wednesday and Friday, but this month I'm doing all 25 days of Vlogmas. Um, but yeah, so be sure to come back and check out tomorrow's vlog. Thanks guys!